And if we zoom in and take a look at this arrangement between the tibia and the fibula, and we have here a posterior view and an anterior view, we see here in the posterior view very well that the head of the fibula touches the tibia bone right there. And when we look at the distal end of the fibula, we see the malleolus of the fibula. And since the fibula is always lateral, fibula lateral, we know that this is the lateral malleolus. And the lateral malleolus is the little bump we feel in the lateral aspect of our ankle. Now, if we look medially here to the lateral malleolus, we see a point of the fibula bone that's touching the tibia bone because the tibia is medial to the fibula. So we have now two points at which the tibia and the fibula bones are joining. And when bones join together, we have a joint. And we are seeing a joint between the tibia and the fibula bones in the proximal end, which is obviously named proximal tibial fibular joint. And we are seeing a joint between the tibia and the fibula bones in the distal end, which is obviously named distal tibial fibular joint. And uniting the shafts of the tibia and the fibular bones, we find a sheet of connective tissue that is looking like a membrane between two bones. And as such, it was named interosseous membrane.